Praise the name of Jesus. I want to welcome you this Thursday night to a word from the Lord. We're still on the baptism of favor. And I want you to know that this coming Sunday we have three services at the Rebot Cathedral and in the evening, 5 30 for the communion <coughs> for the communion service. If you are going to walk in divine favor, you must position yourself for it. And one of the ways you can position yourself for favor is living a lifestyle of selflessness, generosity, and liberality. In Proverbs 11, 24 and 25, there is he that scattered yet increased. The first day I read that passage, it blew my mind. How can you scatter and you increase? But that is if you want financial favor. You go through the word of God. There is it that scattered and yet increased. There is it that we told more than is necessary. End result is poverty. And in verse 25, it says, A, 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 a liberal soul is the one that we mirror. You can pray from today till kingdom come. If you are not a giver, you cannot be a receiver. If you are not generous and liberal, you can, your soul cannot be found. The rich fool in the Bible, uh, everything was just about him, nothing about God. And God said, that fool. And he says, so also is the life of somebody who uh, 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 is not rich towards God. You, you want to be rich in life, you have to be rich towards God. That, there's no shortcut to it. You have to be rich towards God. The Bible says in Galatians 6, 7, don't be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, he will receive. Luke 6, 38. Give, it shall be given to you. Good measure. President, shaking, running over. Shall men give to your bosom, not angels. When you give to God, he mobilizes men to give back to you. Good measure. And 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6. Those who sow sparingly, they can never reap bountifully. They will also reap sparingly. And those who so bountifully can never reap sparingly. You will also reap bountifully. So the choice is yours. There are people today that are praying for a, a financial favor from God, and, but they are not ready to be faithful in their tithing. They are not ready to be faithful in their giving lifestyle. And yet they want financial uh, favor from God. It does not work that way. Don't be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, that's exactly what he will receive. I commend you to God and the word of his grace again today. As you position yourself for favor, favor will smile at you. Those of you who have been stingy, as you change from being stingy, as you stay from being selfish and greedy, your heaven shall open up. The blessing will pour like a torrent. You have been a managing massive draw, but showers of blessing I receive upon you this month of April in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Don't forget again, every Sunday, 7, 9, and 11 a.m., three service at Rebot Cathedral. And uh, there's a crusade coming up uh, at Liberty Stadium. You must have seen that advert. It shall be a blessing. Go there. You will be blessed on Thursday and Friday. Bye for now.